Manual stick rates for the DJI Neo, do they help? Is the update for the DJI Neo any good? All right, uh, so uh, for, for some of you guys that have lost your, uh, maybe you've lost touch with your uh, DJI Neo, um, I just did a recovery, a, a full on recovery, meaning that I crashed in a really remote area and I was not able to find it. And first of all, this, uh, the Neo is equipped with GPS. And because it has GPS, you, sh you, you need to go into the Fly app, connect up with your goggles, and it should give you the location of the crash. So, so that's one thing. Um, and that is working really good. The other advice I would be stay in the app. Uh, and turn your beeper on right now. You can hear my beeper. Okay, there it is right there. So if, do you hear that? And that is an official ESC crash warning. <sighs> All right, yeah. you hear that? That means I crashed. Do not flip and do not roll with this thing because it really is not worth it. <laughs> because it really doesn't like it. <laughs> And that's okay. Um, this could do full on acro without a doubt. And when it when you do flip and roll with this, one of the things you have to worry about is that it will crash. And if you are gonna do or try to do anything that is flippy and rolly, um, don't. <laughs> All right, crash recovery advice, um, and then clean it up. I still haven't cleaned it from the desert experience. And you can see, could be dust in there. I should have, there's probably dust in the motors. There's no question about it. But anyways, no flips, no rolls. Uh, just enjoy, just enjoy what it does until, uh, until further notice, until we tell you, uh, us FPV folks, tell you that it's been unlocked for that. But right now it is not unlocked for anything but straight and level flight. All right, dead random, the DJI Neo, all right, yes. All right, dad random and uh, the Neo, we are going to do some rate changes. Um, I, I've done rate changes for the Avada and what I want to do with the Neo is put my medium rates in here. So, all right, we are ready to roll there. So let's go ahead and do some rate setups. Uh, so here we go. We go into our menus. Uh, we first of all set it for manual. So we want to go down to settings. We go to control and we want to do um, remote controller. And we want to set our sport mode down here. Our custom mode needs to be set to manual mode. Okay, almost every time you have to do that. It does not save it. Okay, go into remote controller. We go over to gain and expo, and you can see everything is 5.6. We're gonna go and change all of these to six, uh, to six five. And then we're gonna go over to max rate, and we're gonna change this to four, uh, to 500. And then we're gonna go to pitch max rate. 500 so let's go back here and we will click on 400 for that so we click down 400 and then 180 180 we uh, slow our roll to 180 and then increase our yaw speed to 100. There we go. And then we want our M mode attitude limit off, okay? So make sure that's off, all right. All right, we should be, we should be ready. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna, I'm also gonna put my, <laughs> uh, I am also gonna put my, uh, defogger on there we go oh my gosh that's so much better all right 
So this is our current rates. And uh, let's, I don't know, let's fly. <laughs> let's fly at these current rates. All right, I'm gonna put the, put the mini up there. I don't know, we were in, <laughs> oh yeah, we're always, we're always trying to, we're trying to compete with trees all the time. All right, we're in manual, that's good. Oh wow, what an what a, what an easier uh, takeoff! I'm just right right away. I can just tell you right now that that little switch. I don't know if you watched me take off in previous videos, but it was nothing like that. Um, supposedly, I think. Okay, this is the other thing I heard, and this may be the case: is our our flying view right now is wider, and. Um, so we have a less claustrophobic flying experience right now. And uh, supposedly our, our speed, our, um, our follow speed has been increased. But right now, I am, uh, I've been, I've been uh, kind of made happy with those current fixes. And I, I need to, uh, let's see if I can adjust my, yeah, let's keep it at 20 degrees. And that's pretty par for the course. If you, now, if you wanna slow it down, um, drop it down to, you know, say 15 degrees. But if you remember me flying with the, the, uh, If you, imagine, if you remember me flying with the Avada too, now there still is a difference in power, the power curve. But other than that, um, I think those are really good rates. I think these are really good starter rates. I really do. I think, I think I hit the, I think I hit the bullseye. Um, somebody else that can change the rates, uh, please give me a uh, your your thoughts on that. I'm actually going to go out a little bit. We got 79%. Let's go do a. Let's go. Let's go up here a little bit and have a little bit of a, of a. A little bit of. A, I, I probably have a dirty lens. But there's no wind today, so. Uh, when you get up like this, you definitely want to speed things up. But I'm saying that was pretty good. Let's double check to make sure my RC connection, make sure we still are good. We've got good RC. Um, video wise, we're good. And we're flying kind of like a mini. Just gonna do a little slow roll here. Do a little bit of a little range flying here. What a great little bird. I, th I really, guys, I really do think that the uh, Avada was a great step, but I think this Neo is a, even a, was even a, is just as great of a step. I really do. Okay, there we got it. We got we got some HD yeah loss, and that's because of where we're at. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring our let's bring our uh, our speed up a little bit. So I'm pushing it forward a little bit faster. There's nobody to compete with today. I don't have to worry about, look at the grass already. <laughs> Gives you an idea what the uh, weather's starting to change here. But yeah, I, I, I think that, that uh, if you're flying manual, to have that, that rate change, it really is gonna make a difference. The stock rates are just not right. They're just not right for flying. And I think that most, most pilots will, will take those rate calculations and, and move them up much higher you know you know you can play with the metal post because I can get my drone from here <laughs> I can play with the metal post oh yes so oh, we got some nice little huh? but you can't do a lot of don't be doing a lot of dives with this that you can't recover from dives so if you want to learn to fly manual uh, you're gonna have to uh, Learn to be straight and level, like that. You just, you just don't, you can't really, you can't really recover from a big old dive. And then I would start at about 15 degrees. 
about 15 degrees and then as you get better as you get more confident say pick out a pick out an object like uh like this and then just work on your just work on your you know your turns uh right and left um i i am going to be doing a series on on manual flying and probably the first thing i would do is to do a man uh, first of all write down your rates write down your current rates as they are um, and then then adjust them so you at least know where you started uh, from that's a mistake that a lot of people make then they have to end up searching for those um, I, I wouldn't even say uh, loosen up the sticks yet I think you can you can learn to fly uh, I'm get, and then you see where I'm down to 40 percent whoa that was that's not good that right there that was kind of weird maybe i hit some wind or something yeah well what's going on what's really going on right now is i'm i'm losing my power curve <laughs> so this is when you click it back okay you're back in sport mode and then you can just fly it right right home and uh, everything should be good. I think this is great. I'm gonna just fly it closer to me. And I think I, a, a lot of people suggest that, um, a lot of people suggest that uh, putting it into, um, putting your drone into sport mode is a good place to start, no. Get it in a manual, get it in a full manual. Um, I, I was told by some wise people at the very beginning of my flying uh, that <laughs> is that uh, you should always fly with uh, just start in just start in full acro and then learn from there because then you then you know what to expect. Um, there might be those who who would say different. You know, they would say maybe not to fly in full acro, but to me, I think it is. Did you see that? That was really nice. Yeah, I really think these are good rates. So I did make some changes uh, in, uh, I think those changes are more familiar. And like I said, the rate, the, the, the beginning stick rates are so slow that I think it makes it actually harder to fly. All right, dad random and the Neo stick rates and update, uh, recent, most recent update. Uh, what today, what's today? Today, today is the uh, 10th of uh, Sunday, the 10th and, uh, new firmware came out and I crashed it right away. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's seemingly better, but I got in a little bit of, I'm gonna do, do some stuff in just a second, just to see what is going on. But uh, there's definitely some issues. Change your stick rates for the DJI Neo. Manual control, all right.